everybody and welcome back to another fresh episode of The Conclave. So guys, what have I got to show you today? Well, I was out and about the other day and I thought to myself, well, I was out and about on my lunch break the other day and I thought to myself, you know what, I fancy getting something that I've had many times before but never actually painted or built to spec or standard. And those things would be, ha ha, that's right, some Grey Knight Terminators, guys. Yeah, um, I've actually had loads of these guys in the uh, past. Uh, I've never actually built them as they were intended. <clears throat> Excuse me, as I just slowly die. I've never actually built them as they were intended to be made, which is Grey Knight Terminators, as you guys can see here. Um, so uh, what did I do? I really, I just painted them how I thought a Grey Knight should look. Um, I didn't really do any converting, any conversion work with them or any green stuffing like that. I just wanted just a nice little build, you know, just to do something, really. Uh, and I thought to myself, well, do you know what? I'm going to need these guys anyway for my um, conclave. So I thought, hey ho, why not? Um, as you can see, guys, I've gone for a standard silver uh, look to them. And uh, as you can see there, guys, I've kind of got a really nice blue little tinge to the uh, armour there. Now, that was achieved, in case you guys are wondering, um, using a special custom uh, mixture. Uh, basically, uh, a while ago, guys, I'm in fact, a long, long while ago, some of you old-timers out there might remember a beautiful little paint called Armour Wash. Now, you can't get it anymore, and it was basically like a blue paint or like silver flexing. However, I think I have recreated the formula here using outstanding painting alchemy um, you can see the sediment in the bottom this is basically a mixture of um, blue ink and very watered down um, like metallic blue so what this does is it dries with a matte finish but with that silver those silver flecks to it so I've kind of tried to achieve that like that now I'm just going to move my uh, lighting rig as you guys can see it's getting a bit dark now it's getting really silly to be able to film um oh no it's too it's too bright on the front oh god what am I going to do it's kind of getting too dark to film in the evenings now so I'm gonna have to reserve my filmings mainly to uh, weekends and stuff let me just try and bring these guys into the light a little bit further for you so um, if you guys are wondering on the um, actual uh, power source, Let's see if I can bring one into the light, there we go. Uh, I've kind of just left them kind of very purple. As they dried, as I was kind of painting them, they kind of had an already established gradual shading effect, so it's kind of like lighter at the tip and then darker down there. Uh, and that was achieved just by the off spray of my airbrush just going where I didn't want it to go. So it was kind of a happy accident, which was quite good. And then I just used my uh, neon uh, pink on there, just to basically make it look a bit more powery, a bit more force-like. And uh, yeah, so I achieved this look. Now, one of the things that you might notice, I'm gonna have to go over and sort this out again. In fact, you can't really notice it because the fucking shadows are all wrong. Um, as you can see there, you might notice that the um, purity seals and stuff, they're a little bit, there we go, they glisten a little bit, they're a little bit shiny. And that's because I made a stupid fucking mistake. On the, uh, I went online to buy some uh, Agrax Earthshade and I accidentally bought the gloss version, didn't realise it. So um, yeah, they ended up looking a little bit on the shiny side. As you can see inside there and inside here on the um, little uh, shoulder guard shield thing that he's got. But I think it worked quite alright. Now, one of the things that I would have done if I'd done these differently, and uh, I wish that I could really go over and do them again, but I can't be asked because I'm a lazy bastard, is I wish that I'd given them, before I hit them with the um, crazy uh, special mix of um, bluey silver, I wish that I'd hit them with a wash of either Agrax or, um, or whatchamacallit, or, uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, can't think of it. Uh, Bada. Black, no, non oil, that's it. Bad black doesn't exist anymore. Non oil. Uh, because it kind of, I was really annoyed because you, you kind of don't get the darkness and the depth in the actual um, like recesses and stuff. But I think it, I pulled it off okay and they look all right. Uh, but yeah, so just a nice little build for me. We've even got some nice engine oil effects on the back there, you know, where the exhaust vents are. But um, they look pretty cool, and I've even done some work on the um, apothecary dude to give them all a nice feel, no pain. Now, yes, I know, I know I've left out a piece of the, um, whatever this thing is here, uh, but I didn't realise it until I'd actually started painting it, and by then it was too late to glue it on and repaint it, so it's staying the way it is. Uh, but anyway, um, one of the things I've got to show you guys, I've got something cool, something new for you. Um, check this out, guys, right? It was my birthday not too long ago. Um, so I was thinking to myself, oh, you know, what can I ask for my birthday? And I thought this would add for some cool shots. And now, Enter the Wolf Time is a proud owner of a brand new 
turntable. That's right, guys. These, uh, this is this is really cool. I've never owned a turntable before, and um, this is going to be really really cool. It's going to add some. I might do some like beauty shots uh, of these guys. Let's just turn them all so they're all facing outwards. Now, one of the things that does make me laugh about this turntable is uh, the fact that down here um, it says uh, high speed and low speed. So let's. Um, let me just show you what the, uh, the the low speed is first of all. Low speed, initiate! Look at that beautiful, beautiful low speed. Now, now guys, are you ready? Are you ready for the high speed? Whoa, hold on to your hats guys. This is gonna be a bumpy ride. I hope that this thing doesn't go up to 88 miles per hour. It might go back to the future. Are you ready? High speed, initialize! I have actually changed it. <laughs> it's absolutely ridiculous in regards to that. But anyway, no, it's so cool. Look at them all just rotating nicely there on the actual turntable. I'm really chuffed with this. I might do some like beauty shots of this. So I might just like zoom in so that it's like that and then do some beauty shots. I might, I don't know whether to do it in a separate video, guys. I'm not sure. It's either going to be a separate video or it's going to be actually on the end of this video here. So I'm not entirely sure. But it looks really, really cool, and it means that I can do like really cool, different, interesting, different shots and stuff. Uh, but anyway, guys, um, if I decide to put it in at the end, this is where it will be. Uh, other than that, I will see you guys again uh, in the next. In fact, no, Joe, you know balls to it. We're gonna do some beauty shots. We're gonna do some beauty shots right now, guys. Are you ready? Are you ready for this?